Everybody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. All right, boys, starting right off where we left off yesterday. AF-16 all freshened up. We put the 9-1 gearing in there. We got the 72 uh, Polini Corsa kit on there. Um, I already know someone's going to comment on the last video because we didn't show it, but this case is already ported to match the cylinder. So back there, like the boost port and uh, the intake ported a little bit too already. Yeah, so I figured I'm going to go ahead and just throw this thing in the bike right now. kind of want to start putting the exhaust on. I want to see what the aero pipe and everything looks like. So... All right, here's how we're looking, boys. Things we're gonna do today. So, oh, I also have a new throttle cable to put on too, but since I have to run this throttle cable through the whole bike, I gotta take some fairings off and get that ran through there. It's the perfect time to run my gauges. So I got a tack and just a simple temp gauge. Um, I think I'm gonna run them differently on this bike. I usually put them up here on the handlebars, but I'm kinda thinking I'm gonna run them right here on this one. Also got gear oil, which is probably what I'm gonna do first before I forget, fill it with gear oil. And then I went and got another BR8HS because luckily at least the stores have these now they usually never have any B8HS's but I found these at the local store so and the exhaust gasket and of course the nice purdy aero pipe. So. I have this other kickstand for this bike that way I don't have to run the center stand because once you don't have the exhaust that has the rubber to support this it just does this it needs to be like right here where the other exhaust makes it stop at so that while I'm riding is gonna be annoying I want to run this one but this one's like a bolt-on style. We'll figure out maybe I can cut this and weld it somewhere because it wants you to mount it here. But when you lift up the kickstand, it's there. When you lift up the kickstand, it's hitting the kicker case right there. I'm gonna throw it all together to double check right now, but I'm almost positive that was the reason I didn't want to run it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the motor and then drill those out and then yeah, do all that fun stuff right now and see how this kickstand works. All right, motor's pulled. This is the area we're aiming towards right now. Only thing I'm scared about is the one bolt being too long and possibly running into the bottom of that, but we'll see. But uh, here's what it's looking like. So theoretically. Kickstands all mounted in there. Couldn't use the bolts it came with because it was running into the bottom of this. So I had to find a shorter bolt with the same thread. But got in there, I'm gonna keep this stock one on right now while I put the motor in because it's easier with the center stand. And then take this one off and see how she is, so. It for sure hits it when you go. Still gonna hit it when I let up go fast. But when it's chilling, it's not touching it, so see that but it's in there um, I guess we can tilt it to the side and see how low it goes right now hey. This thing has a different mount situation, kind of like a dirt bike where it goes in here and it has springs that hold it on. So I'm gonna figure all this out and then try to mock it up on the bike. Dude, this thing looks so good. We got that one in there and then put these ones over here. All right, arrow pipes on there. The only thing is this other spring was on here, but it was super loose when it was on here. This one's tight. The other spring was super loose, which uh, was kind of sus. So uh, only run the one spring so it didn't vibrate around. Like just the way it wraps around the bike and everything, it just looks so good. All right, next we got our temp gauge and our tack and uh, the extension we got for the temp sensor right here. Now I just need to debate whether I want to put them here because I like the look of them here or go one of them up here again so I'm trying to figure that out right now and then I'm gonna go ahead and run the wires I already threw off the front of the shield too so and I gotta change out the funnel cable while I'm in here too take out the stock one and make it for the one right here for other carburetors so 
Or I thought about it for a long time and I decided I'm gonna put the temp cages down here because I don't know, I just don't want them up here. This is how my stroker is. I don't know if I like them when they're up here. Thinking right here and I kinda like this spot. I was originally gonna run the wires into the glove box or up there and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna drill it here and I got these grommets. So I already got it squeezed through with this plug. So I just gotta drill the hole, get this grommet to fit in there and then uh, run the other wire through this as well and have them both just stacked right here, just boom and boom. Clean. That's how we're looking right there, boys. It's clean. Now I'm just gonna put the sticky pads on the back of the, sens the sensor so they stick right there. Damn, you brought the rep. You put the new board on it? Yeah. No way. Yeah. That's how's, why it took me so long. I'm sorry, bro. How's it running? Was it? The homie Jay Bush hooked it up again because he saw we were struggling right here. We got some springs for the stroker clutch that we get to try out, so. Huh. For the Zuma. Melosi crank for the Zuma. Damn, my battery's already dead. Brandy Melosi crank for the Zuma. Zuma's getting a full, fresh motor build so this thing's gonna be new crank new seals full freshened up new kit new pipe new carb new intake everything some gasket paper with making gaskets for this intake i uh, got a ct manny and we got some gaskets i cut out so i just gotta trim them up a little bit poke some holes in it and then uh throw this manifold on the new motor or the 72 build Chuck really that bike. <laughs> My neighbors hate me. This bike's so loud. Still putting it together. It's taking a while because the gaskets I had to make and I'm trying to poke the holes in it without tearing it. Putting it all together right now. Gonna put the reed block on. I got one more gasket put on and then uh, then uh, throw on the spigot and put the carb on. Oh no, they're both staying, never mind. So the the aero pipe, this one spring is super loose on it. So we're trying to bend it up and make it a little bit tighter. Just got this back of this headset off. This is the scariest thing ever to do on the Elite. On any bike, just messing with these shrouds where you have to pry them apart. This is all solely to change out the throttle cable because the throttle cable on the back of these ones, I don't know where even it's at. It's kind of somewhere back here. You can't even take this off and change it to the different carburetor one, so you need the one that's like a raw little clip. New throttle cable going in. It was a pain in the ass to pull the old one out, but throw this in. Intakes, sealing right now, drying up, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Just put the headset back together and put the throttle cable in. Put everything else in. Couldn't get the spring. Was being a pain in the ass. And uh, just put a 120 main jet in the 28 mil key and carb. The round slide piece. And uh, yeah, she's all sealed up. We're about to check for early channel too. And hear this aero pipe. Interested to see that. squeeze the
Well, boys, I think it's time. We're about to sell the YZ250 piece right here. So this baby has been with us a while now. Um, it's actually kind of crazy to see, but I'm gonna put in this one clip here. But like pretty much since I first moved in this house, I think that might have been the first project I picked up. I'm gonna have to double check, but I'm pretty sure, um, not even really project, but like, if you look at when we first got this house, dude, I had none of this. Literally, this wasn't here, 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 that wasn't here, that wasn't here. That OG moped, right there, the black Tao Tao was the only thing in this garage besides the cars. The bug's been with me since I was 15, and uh, the BMW I picked up like a month before I got this house. But I pretty much built the whole thing out of this entire garage, though. It was bare bones, stock BMW E36 when I first got it here. But uh, right after that and bringing everything here, I got this thing. And uh, this thing's been with me ever since. And I honestly, this thing has been mint. We have a new toy and a whole lot more videos and fun to come with this thing. We got a 2008 YZ250F. Later. Hey, man. I'm gonna go hit the track, all right? All right, later. Hey, I'm gonna go hit the track. Me and my dirt bike, my, my YZF250F, two, YZ250F, right. 2008. The Vegas track? Hey, I'm gonna get the track for free. My buddy who hit me up, I didn't even post this bike for sale. I had no intentions on selling it. And he basically hit me up and pretty much told me he would give me the exact number for my bike, what I said would like be my selling cost and like a fair number. And he pretty much was like, I'll buy it for that much. And I was just like, well, at that point, I guess I have to sell it because like that's exactly what I would sell it for. And uh, that was 30 minutes ago and now he's on his way to come get it. So. How long you one, one, one step closer to kicking all the four strokes out of the garage. Only got the 110 left. Oh, and the OG pad. <laughs> oh my lord, bro. You're so ugly, I won't even focus right now. There oh. it goes. You're about to get, what, 60 new subs? Uh, this dirt bike's gonna try to learn how to ride, because... <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do first? Listen, you see this? You wasn't hitting this right, because this should be shaved. This, look. Look, that's from dropping it probably. It shouldn't be, <laughs> be shaved it, down at all. It actually it's actually might be. <laughs> <laughs> that's from the bus. I swear the bus caused more damage to my dirt bike than anything. She'll definitely be happier with me. I'll teach you how to ride it one day. Maybe this next weekend. Why am I trying to buy this shopping for like... I know. It's a two <laughs> years. At least. Know, should... Low key, so I already know I'm going to regret it. 250's gone now, boys. So I rearranged the garage a little bit. Got the GP1 tucked back in there, and uh, it looks a lot better now. All the bikes are like level before the 250 like blocked a lot of the bikes, so kind of looks pretty good right now. So last night we were having a, a problem with the petcock; it wasn't delivering fuel through, so I'm had to pull out the gas tank and check out what's going on with that. I also got a battery up there now, so I can put a battery in and should have electric start. We're gonna test that, and um, also the biggest mod so far: screw the motor build, screw everything I've done so far on this scooter. This right here. This is kickstand right here, which is like a kickout stand instead of the center stand where it stands up on the bike I usually have on the Elite. Well, I put it here and was trying to move it forward as far as possible before hitting this seam because it was hitting the kicker case. I got to this point, but when I would kick it up, it would still kick the kicker case and it actually scratched the shit out of my kicker case already. So, what I did to resolve that, since I already drilled the holes and I was certain that's where I'm keeping it because there's nowhere else to go, is I put a shoe on it, baby. I got that Converse, and now look, check it out. I'm follow, but look. Boom! Are you kidding me? Look at that. The rubber part, too. Like, not even just the shoe right there. But boom, baby. So now we got a little sneaker that stops it from hitting, and uh, check it out now when she's down. Look at that, dude. Are you kidding me? All right, boys, so I think I found out the issue. I thought it was a petcock issue, but after seeing this, I'm starting to think it's a carb issue. So, I got all this fuel right now into the fuel line. Look at that. All that in the fuel line right now, and it still doesn't want to start. I went ahead and put my hand over it and choked it, and my hand did not get wet at all. So I could tell that somehow the carb is not getting fuel. So I'm gonna pull this off right now and uh, check out the carb first, because I was gonna pull off the tank and check the petcock. But, that's a brand new petcock I put in there, 
and uh, now seeing how much fuel is literally right here and it still won't start right now uh, very scary I don't want to try pressing any right any right now because that means oil is not getting to the cylinder there's oil in there from when I assembled it but it it's didn't I don't want to keep going so that's where we're at right now check this out so all this fuel on the line turn it upside down no fuel in the carburetor at all that if I take this bowl off there's probably nothing in it couldn't tell what the reason was but I'm gonna try this other bowl from another carb I have and see if that doesn't fix it and I'm gonna go ahead and clean out this carb right now and see that maybe I can't get any fuel in there but it's dry as a bone in there so uh, I want to say I think I figured out the issue so if you look right here this is the bowl vent something is clogged in that bowl vent and this bowl vent is like cut um, I think that makes it where there's no end of the loop on that side so it's not sucking through if you know what I'm saying so that should be the vent for air out of your bowl I don't think the last one had a vent so when I was sitting here trying to prime the bike and I was sucking, I was getting no fuel going through. If anything, it would come through when I blew. That was telling me that like something was wrong with the circulation of fuel. Now it's sucking through, AKA I guarantee fuel is in this bowl now, AKA this bike should fire right up. So see a bunch of fuel going in there now, boys. Let's see what's cracking with the 72. We got the tack working. I got it chilling right now, about 1400, 1300. I'm letting it warm up. We're looking at 160 right now. Don't have the cooling shrouds on, so I'm gonna spray a little bit of this, even though it's on the gasket maker we put. But I just want to make sure we don't have air leaks. We don't have any exhaust leaks, thankfully. And I still need to deal with spring, but. So this is an easy way to check for leaks because it would rev up because you're giving it obviously more fuel right here. So there's any tour to leaks and this stuff gets through anything. So base gasket's looking good. Head gasket's looking good. We can check Manny. I think we're good. Boys, I'm gonna have to say we're good. Sound of that arrow, dude. All right, I'm gonna throw the fan shots on. I gotta fix my right blinker, but oh, I put a new battery in too. As you guys can tell, it has the starter. The starter works. Hold on, that deserves a whole restart because that is way too cool. Check this out. First elite now with electric start. I'm so stoked on that. The boss boys, boss boys signature starter right there. But my left blinker works now with the battery. We have blinker action clear. Tail light works. Right blinker does not work in the back. But I think the bolt is there. Got him. So. I'm liking the sound of this arrow pipe right now. I put another spring on there. I found one that was short enough. It was off the KX, which is actually from a Banshee. But that spring works. So. I saw a little oil building up right there, but I think that that spring we fixed that. Definitely gonna want Honda Bond right there. Oh, that means I'm gonna pull the pipe back off to do that. leak at the exhaust right there. There's a leak right there, so definitely need to pull the pipe off and fix that. But bike runs, 72 kit, fresh build, everything fresh on it. Um, next video we're going to do some riding and some more tuning on it and actually give this thing a ride test. So if you guys want to see riding it, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to see the next one, and I'll see you guys on the next one.